right guys, our daily trek has now started. There's only one way you can go from here. Straight south. Yep. Oh, it goes further north, right? Yeah, All right guys, we are starting the Ice Age Trail. We're about 15 minutes into our trek and I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about Kettle Moraine. Uh, there is a north portion of it. There's also a south portion of it. Uh, we are hiking the north portion uh, for this video. Uh, we actually started on Highway P in Glen Beulah, Wisconsin, uh, where we will be hiking back down to Highway H. Uh, Highway H is where we dropped off our initial car uh, so that we have a car at our starting and finishing point. Uh, that Highway H is located in Campbell's Sport, Wisconsin. Uh, there's a off-road parking, there's an overflow lot, and uh, you do need to have a Wisconsin State Park parking pass. Otherwise, they will tow your car. Uh, the pass is good for a year. And it actually goes to help to keep and maintain the parks and recreational stuff here in the beautiful state of Wisconsin. So get it at the beginning of the year, use it the entire year, and enjoy the beautiful scenery that's here. So uh, today is Columbus Day weekend. It's roughly about 44 to 45 degrees. And it's, uh, if you can see, the sun's coming out. Uh, it is Friday, October 7th. So... Hope you all enjoy. See you along the way. Yes, I did. Some of the topography of North Kettle Moraine. As you see, it's going to be a lot of ups and downs. Uh, for that, you definitely want to have decent hiking shoes, especially hopefully wide toed uh, to allow for the impact going up and down these areas. All right, guys, we're about four miles in now. It's almost one o'clock. So we've went a total of four. As you can see by the sign, we're going to the green bush kettle shelter number five. It's another 3.7, so accuracy, 7.7 .7 miles day one. Hey guys, it's about two o'clock and we have exactly 1.2 miles left on this trail. I unfortunately didn't take a picture of that sign to show you that, but we are about 1.2 left to base camp, 
uh, at which time we'll set up, eat some good food, partake in some beverage, and enjoy a nice campfire with friends. Uh, with that said, we started at 10.45, and it is approximately 2 o'clock, so we have about a 3 hour and 15 minutes that we've conquered, uh, roughly about 6.6 .6 miles. So we're averaging two, two and a half an hour. Uh, the trees and roots right now in October, our uh, trees, roots, and rocks are all covered by the fallen leaves. So it's making the uh, hike kind of uh, a test on your ankles. So. All right, guys, here we are. We're almost coming up on shelter number five, which is gonna be right around the corner. And then it looks like tomorrow we're going to shelter number three, which is Dundee shelter. It's 10.4. Yeah, we're adding Parnell. So, and then we're gonna add on Parnell Tower, which might add on another mile. As you can see, Bars is giving us our water source there. You coming out? No. Pump a little harder, Jim. Push, push. It looks like there it is. There. It's coming out. Thank you. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> it's yellow, but it's water. You guys can see the, the beautiful color red that we got here, which is awesome. And the trail markers. All right, guys. We have arrived at shelter number five. Uh, this is our favorite shelter. As you can see, you're nestled among the foothills over here. And it's quiet and it's serene, but you have all this stuff, all this place to set up tents and to enjoy peace and tranquility. So, all right, here everybody shows up. Welcome to shelter number five. Woo! Got some wood. Got some wood. Boy, you take your bag off. You feel like you're walking all weird. I know. Thanks Fabulous. For, thanks for the wood. Yep. Watch that second one goes. Nice job, guys. Uh, for a while. Nah, he's fine. Just roll it. Instead love, of this one? I love women. Honey. <laughs> Are we passing a barb? <laughs> See, y'all ain't ready to go to bed yet. Nah. <laughs> She's already asleep. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a long time to Georgia. Pretty good, old son. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> See, they know what to do. I just fall into the fire. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, October 8th, and the entire gang is up. The uh, weather today, I stand corrected by bars and raven is not going to be in the mid 70s it'll be in the mid 50s so correction made we got spider over there making coffee for himself this morning hey morning and we got the people that stand corrected over here drinking their coffee <laughs> along with our fire 
And then there's Yogi. Good morning, good morning. So today we're gonna to be hiking out to Butler Lake with a stop off in at Parnell Towers for a total of about 11 miles. And we're going to shelter number three today. So this is where we spent the night last night. Uh, actually, we got two mirror tents in there. Uh, so four of us were able to sleep inside that. And our third body who wanted to sleep alone kind of has his tent set up over there. Uh, the area is beautiful. As you can see, caterpillars come back for the, the odd house that we have. And uh, it was a good night. So we're going to get the day started, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. About three and a half in. And we are coming up to the offset trail for Parnell. Ice Age Trail straight ahead, Parnell to the left. All right, so on to the Parnell Tower Trail. That is Parnell Tower. Stairs and more stairs. Wow. All right, guys, let's keep going. These are getting better. little windy up here maybe a little noisy on the uh, video but here's the view from up above you can definitely see the beauty you can see the fall colors all coming in and you're just above the canopy all the way around even a colorblind individual like myself can see the colors up here so gotta love it All right, guys, we are now done with Parnell Tower. And you, as you can see, we are heading towards Butler Lake, which is going to be our water source uh, before we get to Dundee Shelter number three, which is seven miles out. So, Butler Lake, water source. Last spot to fill up for quite a while. So, good sight to see, good water source, and good place to sit and have lunch. So, let's get started, and we'll check back in later. And here is the Butler Lake rest stop area. Here you have a water source. You have a parking lot. So if you wanted to drive here to see it, you can do so. There's a sign that shows Parnell Tower and Greenbush Kettle Shelter 5, which is seven and a half miles out. So as we arrive here, there is Porta John's water source, picnic tables, and as I was right, there's also an apple tree. Hey, just a tidbit of information. As you leave Butler Lake, since it is your last water source between there, shelter number three, and Mothy Lake, which is all together about an eight mile stretch, you're gonna wanna invest in this kind of uh, device. Ours is called a CNOC. You can get them in one liter, two liter, or three liter sizes, or even bigger. Uh, it's a good way to transport water when you know you're not gonna have any. So, word to the wise, CNOC, bring your water. Alrighty, we are now approaching Dundee Shelter number three. We've got another 0.7 miles to go. It does come off of the 
Ice Age Trail Pass. But it's another little gem that's out there. So you'll be about a half mile to three quarters of a mile off track. Uh, but it's a beautiful campsite. It's secluded. And it's nice just to get away from the uh, traffic of the trail. So what is that? It is our final destination, people. Shelter number three. We have finally made it. And as you can see, it's another beautiful campsite with beautiful raven. Beautiful skies. Morning. It is Sunday, October 9th. We are leaving shelter number three, roughly at 8 a.m. in the morning, and we will be heading to Highway H, which is going to be our final destination point today. Uh, total mileage today should be about 14 miles. It's going to be high in the low 50s, and it looks like it's going to be somewhat cloudy. Uh, it's a good start up to our morning. We've all had breakfast, broke down camp, and we are now on trail at 8 a.m. So, the last 14 miles of the North Kettle Moraine Ice Age Trail headed towards Highway H is probably the toughest part of the trail. It's the most hilliest and probably the rockiest. Uh, one thing you'll learn about this trail that is that it's a ton of roots and a ton of rocks. So your feet will definitely take a beating out here, but well worth it. Just make sure you have good shoes, good hiking poles, and Luco tape. Luco tape is good for the hot spots before they arise. So things to pack in your bag. A little toolbox, as they say. We should be coming up to Mothy Lake here within the next half mile, I believe. It's a good place to rest up. They do have restrooms. Uh, they do have water. And uh, they do have park benches to sit on too. So oh, there's one of those routes I was telling you about. All right. We have now made it to Mothy Lake. Here they have restrooms. They have parking lots. They have running water. They have a little bit of everything here. Uh, it's also a good spot where you can actually come and camp if you want. Uh, this big hut here in front of me there is actually stacked with firewood so you don't have to bring any of your own wood in they do over there have a little ranger station so they do check for passes and or check-in all right so lunchtime's over here at mothy lake and the group is moving on was it a good break guys oh, it was great. Yeah. All right. go bears go and there's our sweep. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And we're on the road again. All right, guys. So, like I said, lunch break is over. And we are going to Highway 8 Trailhead. Highway 8 Trailhead, as you can see. Nine miles ahead. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Here we go. We're about additional three miles in from Mothy, which means we have another six miles to go. 
And I just wanted to kind of show you the beauty out here of the trail. The fall changing of the colors. And even the remnants of wildflowers. Come out here and you can be one with nature and yourself and just enjoy it. Which I hope you will. Days and days. And here comes the ladies. Yay. As we finish up the official 35 mile hike. Woo woo! Yay, 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 yay. Never thought, never thought it's And guys, here is the oh, Highway H Trailhead. Total mileage is going to be roughly 35 miles that we've done over the last two and a half days.